my biggest issue is it doesn't meet the promise of the congressional language. I thought the congressional bill was very good language. I actually thought it was really decent. And, uh, and in almost every case, they've interpreted it in the most conservative way. I, why do you think that is? That. Why do we think that is? Well, it's either it's either Chris's politics, which, or or it's the uh, they're being conservative, don't want to make mistakes. I don't know which of the two. I I'm going to find out. I know I know people there. I'll find out eventually, but I probably oh, won't you, be able to say. I will probably won't be able to say. <laughs> you you know everybody, Doug. You're the most popular yeah. person in broadband. But I think it's they're just really like maybe I'm too optimistic on this. I think they're just really trying to be conservative because they don't want so. to be that's the, my, the yeah. yeah the clusters of what some of the other right. grant programs have been. Like, and they yeah. But go but ahead, like, Chris. Let's, let's be clear. Like they're being they're making some decisions in some places, but like in other places, it, you know, um, it seems to me like they're just ignoring the law. Um, I mean, they, their reading of that, uh, the law says that states um, have to allow cities to apply. And so NTIA's reaction is to say, well, states cannot categorically prohibit them from applying, but if they design a mechanism that just doesn't actually give them any money because they're they're right. secretly, you know, prevented, then you know, well, what are we what are we going to do about it? And they get they, exactly they gave them an out on that. They gave them an out to not give any money to cities. And the, and yeah. the congressional law absolutely said cities are in. So every case they they did these little weird things. I mean, I feel for NTIA because Congress ex did not give them the explicit ability to preempt the rules. But I yeah. feel like, you know, what Nancy Werner from the National Association of Telecommunications Officers and Advisors has discussed is correct, which is states have to, you know, um, have to uh, make find ways that cities can participate or they have to turn down the money or like there's some sort of penalty or something like like that's that's what Congress said. And then I feel like NTIA in some ways they're like, oh, we have to follow exactly what Congress said. And in other cases, they're like, well, that's inconvenient. So let's not do that. Especially well, if, they, if they were to follow what Congress said, this would be an awesome enough. <laughs> <laughs>